My name is Paul Abbott. I'm a, an endodontist and I'm also a professor of dentistry at the University of Western Australia. My passion is dentistry overall, but in particular in the specialty of endodontics. A big part of uh, my interest area is dental trauma. To me, it's, it's an exciting area. Um, it, it's also one that has a lot of consequences for patients. You know, anybody that has trauma to their tooth really has now got a lifelong problem. So it's quite a challenging area, uh, but it's also a very rewarding area because we can bring patients back from a you know, fairly traumatic situation. Radiographic uh, examination of teeth is really important. It's the only way we can see some injuries, such as your root fractures or bone fractures. So as part of the initial examination, we advocate the use of what we call a trauma series of radiographs. Follow-up of trauma is really important. We need to take more radiographs to assess the healing, uh, to assess whether any other problems are developing. So it's really important um, to have a good radiographic technique. Diagnosis is the key to everything we do. We shouldn't do any form of treatment unless we have a diagnosis because a patient could come in at any stage uh, of the whole disease process. So we need to understand it so we can make a diagnosis so that we can then do the appropriate treatment. When a tooth has been avulsed, there, there are many factors that come into the outcomes afterwards. And what we do know is if we replant a tooth, the tooth will stay there, but the problem is how long is it going to last? It largely comes down to how the injury has occurred and what has happened to the tooth while it's been out of the mouth. If the tooth can be replanted within 10 to 15 minutes, then it will have a very good chance of lasting a long, long time. If the tooth hasn't been dry, but it's been put into some sort of solutions, a lot of those cells can stay alive. And so the chances of getting ankylosis and replacement resorption will be less. Resorption is a very complicated process. And initially what we're really concerned about with a lot of injuries is external inflammatory resorption. So for those injuries, pulp necrosis and infection is very, very predictable. And there's also been damage to the external root surface and the periodontal ligament. So they're the injuries where external inflammatory resorption is likely to occur. With external replacement resorption, it depends a lot on what's happened to the tooth. And the two main injuries there will be avulsion and the second injury is intrusions. And that's the sort of situation that can lead to uh, ankylosis. So, in those situations, we still go through the processes of replanting or repositioning the tooth, stabilising it and managing all the injuries. Our secondary aim in that situation is to preserve the bone and that bone becomes very useful in the future in terms of uh, being able to replace the tooth with something like an implant. Having the World Dental Congress in Australia is a fairly unique opportunity. It, it doesn't come around very often in our own country, so it's a great opportunity for Australian dentists to participate. We have a, a wide range of speakers coming from all parts of the world, so it brings a whole different perspective. So I think it's a fantastic opportunity for dentists to broaden their education. Mm -hmm.